Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today to check this out. The brand new Pagani Imola. The Imola is the most brutal car that Pagani have ever made and there will only be five of them in total, one of which is right here today for us to take a look at. It is named Imola after extensive testing that was done at the Imola circuit. This car is a track focused monster. We're going to take a look then, go for a walk around, go through all of the details. We'll get the twin turbo V12 fired up and then hop on board for a short experience to see what this is like. Let's take a look then at the new Pagani Imola. Just take a look at this thing. Feast your eyes over the car that is in front of us, now parked under the streetlights. Darkness has just fallen, but I could not turn down an opportunity to take a look at this spectacular thing. The newest model from Pagani, their most powerful car ever as well. And in my mind, this is the spiritual successor to the Zonda Cinque. Now that is a big call, but the Zonda Cinque was the first highly limited edition version of Pagani's first car, the Zonda. Cinque being the Italian word for five, they made five coupes and five roadsters. The Huayra was released as the second model, followed by the Huayra BC and the Roadster BC, of which there were 20 and 30 respectively. Already a very hardcore car, but this dials it up even more. 827 horsepower, aerodynamics that you can see in front of us, and named just Pagani Imola, not the Huayra, after the circuit on which the testing was completed. Thousands of miles of testing to hone it in. Now look at the design of the car, the knacker duct at the front, the openings, the extended splitter, have a look at the wheel arch louvres, look at those side skirts, there's a roof snorkel, a massive rear wing, and a gigantic diffuser. Look at the rear of this thing, very much purposeful and intent. This is a car designed for the racetrack. Now it's brand, brand new. We're gonna be taking it just for a short little cruise, but look at it. To save some weight, they used a new paint process, I think in this case, a lacquer process, to save five kilos in total, as opposed to the normal paint that they would use. Of course, the entire car is made from carbon fiber, but also new carbon fiber techniques to do with the tub, to increase strength, and also to help keep the weight down as much as possible. Horatio Pagani has always been known as an artist in the automotive world. The cars are beautiful. The Huayra always was. And let me just show you quickly that I've got the key right here as well. The key for this car, as ever, looks spectacular. Shaped to match the car. You have the button buttons on the underside. We'll just unlock it quickly so I can open up the doors and show you inside here as well. The gullwing doors opening upwards. Look at this. Look at this car. Everything from carbon fiber. You can see the different carbons used, the different materials the finest leathers on the inside, everything finished to the absolutely best standard possible. This car is a magnificent thing. I love the snorkel. I love having that over. This wing kind of reminds me of the wing that we saw as well on the roads to BC that was introduced last year. But then down at the back, the big thing about this diffuser, you have to watch out for quite how low that is, particularly when you raise the front end using the lifter. That goes right down to the ground. And of course, we don't want to catch it. We don't want to cause any issues back there. But but this in the exposed or tinted dark carbon fiber. It's not full exposed carbon. You can see that it's darker tint than normal, finished with the red accents that you can see all around, the satin red accents, as well as the colors. You've even got the Italian flag, the red, white, and green colors of the Italian flag over the top of it. This, it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing to actually look at. Anywho, I think I should take a seat inside to start this up so we can take a listen to the sound that comes from the engine back here, the six liter bi-turbo V12, in this case, 827 metric horsepower, 816 brake horsepower. But to step inside here, a car that will inevitably have a top speed of around 240 miles per hour, not that we're gonna be doing that today, where the key goes into a slot just here. Apologies, it's quite dark in here at the moment, but plug that in, everything will wake up, come into life a little bit, just uh, so that we can get this rocking and rolling and then we can start it up. You ready for this? Look at that. The Pagani Imola, the outline of the Imola race circuit on the dashboard. Wow. Right then, let's take a listen. Oh yes. Six litre V12. Oh, it knows that the door is open, of course. It just feels special to be inside this car. Five million dollars or so here. The Pagani Imola. Wow, just, yes. My mind is a little bit blown right now, but here we are, we're inside. So, look at that. Genuine wing mirrors out on the wings. Let's, um, yeah, let's uh, go out and um, 
see what it's like a little bit. Into life from the outside then. So let's hop on board, open up the passenger door. Or just here. Sorry, it is very, very dark. Well, we are joining my friend Mike today. Shin Mike Yin, how are you? Good to see you again. Likewise, thank you very much for this. Now, Mike owns a number of Paganis. This is his friend's car, who is very kindly today let us take a look at it. So, I will treat this very carefully, stepping inside. I'm going to do this super delicately. And there is a grab handle just up here on the door to pull the gullwing down. We are now here inside the Imola. Wow, this is, this is pretty special. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, let's go for a little little cruise around. This is a new car. And we need to be very aware of the diffuser at the back. That's super long. I just was demonstrating and showing it. <laughs> but it it's is spectacularly long. low to the ground. Every little uh, bump is a potential problem. Yeah. We've got to work out which way to, uh, which way to go here. But yeah, just being in this car, just being sat here at the moment. So it's Problem quite a... is, this is not my car, so I've got to be very delicate. Yes, <laughs> super, it's super my careful. Car, uh, it's be better. Reversing camera. Wow, just wow. You can even see the diffuser in the camera view. That's what the camera is made for, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Just make life a little bit difficult for you to reverse and through the gears. Let's have a look at the... Uh, the linkage here always I mean, it's just a work of art and these are the window switches as well next to those but yeah everything in here the finish for the Imola really really cool oh the sound of those turbo oh that's nice the bangs and pops that you have from the back of it as well not that we can see through the bulkhead the, snoop, the roof snorkel takes over that view completely even moving relatively slowly, the sound of this is mega. Absolutely mega. Look at the mirror out there, that's so cool. This car is just unlike anything else. Wow. Feels very, very hardcore. Proper, proper race car. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> right now, it's very special, right? It feels yeah. cool <laughs> to be inside this, to be able to experience it. I can't imagine what this would be like to drive in anger, let's say, out on a racetrack, but um, maybe even just here. Oh, this, this bit's easier. No, no brakes on the ground. Well, There's so much made for the racetrack. away like this yeah not as much not as much this yeah. is a new exhaust system lighter even even sportier I think we can say even more racier yeah racier. racier racier would be the right word there's also the fitted luggage behind the seats which is really nice it's quite hard to see it's probably quite dark back there you turn on the light and you can see that a little bit better but always with Pagani the very nicest of materials you've got a carbon fiber storage bucket just here Wow, <laughs> it's all really really nice roof snorkel just up above us outside you know, normally this is two pieces of glass. Yes, the and roof is normally glass. You see, and this part is glass as well. Okay. But now it's all carbon. Yeah, I guess carbon is lighter than glass, so that kind of makes sense. <laughs> I love those noises. The sound is just insane. <laughs> it's warming up. Yeah. Now to unlock the car, that goes up. Unlock, then you've got the lever just here, and the door can open up. I'm going to step on out because we need to get it up over this curb, which is obviously very low to the ground and uh, quite difficult in this particular car. So, <laughs> look at that cutaway that you see through the front there. This thing is just insane, just absolutely insane. Wow, 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 wow. right. 
you can see what I mean by just how low this diffuser is to the ground. We have to be super, super, super careful, but it's going to be fine. We made sure of this earlier, so it'll be able to get up over that curb. Wow, that's close to the ground. But it's all completely fine getting it up here. And mission successful. Carefully does it. You've just got to be super careful of these dips out here in the ground. This car, though. This car. Of course, I didn't show you much. The Imola badge there at the back. Again, the outline of the Imola circuit. Listen to it bubbling away. Just being maneuvered here. Mike, can we take a quick listen to it? Sure. <laughs> We've got to have a check out of the, uh, the sound system of the Imola. The exhaust system at the back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shots going yeah. on. <laughs> you don't even need to rev it like crazy, it's just give it some a little bit and it backfires and makes those incredible bangs. <laughs> if you didn't know what was going on, you might be a little bit concerned by what's happening there. In fact, that's kind of making me feel almost a little bit lightheaded just from the sound of it. <laughs> Which one was louder, the LaFerrari or those? Oh, well, your LaFerrari was a much louder sound, but those particular kind of bangs and pops that you get out of it are on a different level. Ear piercing. Yes, ear piercing. That's the best way to describe it. Well, it might have been a small experience, but this car, the Pagani Imola, like I said, the most brutal, most powerful, most extreme Pagani ever. And um, you can see why. This thing is just, well, everything about it is super, super cool. Thanks for the ride out there, Mike. Appreciate it. Great as always. Good to have you here, as always. For this, yeah. The Pagani Imola. What do you guys think? Do comment down below. The colour scheme of this is just absolutely crazy. All the red accents and touches. I just had to share it. Couldn't have not taken a look at this car while we're out here. So yes, I'm gonna get it now inside the showroom, wrap things up. But that has been quite an experience, just to be in the presence of this thing. Into the light it goes. Wow see a lot more of the, uh, the detail and the colour scheme was the red and gold on the wing, also the red calipers with the gold wheels. Oh, I probably wouldn't do that in here, I think that might hurt our ears. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay. Look at how you can see the exhaust system. You still have the active flaps that the wire had, the two at the front, the two at the rear, as they coincidentally popped up. Look inside there. This is really, really cool. That was very loud. <laughs> <laughs> wow. My goodness. Oh, look at this. Open it back up. We've got the uh, tender, the trickle charger down there. We've got the uh, suit hangers that hang on the back of the seats. That's actually really quite a nice design, how they just slot down the back, but hang over the headrests. And then you've got all the details, the fuel filler cap here, so that releases. Obviously you can open up the back, which is latched down, you can open up the front as well. It's a very nice thing, knacker duct here, airflow through, and look at this, look at these aggressive intakes. Yep, that is a special car. Awesome. Big thanks to the owner for the opportunity to be able to take a look at this, the Pagani Imola. So thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video, a bit spontaneous, but this is the Emola. I couldn't resist making a little video with it. So thank you very much again, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.